Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Frederick by Meyer. That uh, is a Meyer brand. Uh, chocolate lava cakes and butter toffee sticky cakes. These were four twenty nine a, a box at Meyer. Uh, you get two cakes in the box, and I'll go ahead and open it. Show you what it looks like. There, so there's two individually wrapped cakes per box. So. You can make these in the oven, but it gives microwave directions first in the oven. We're going to try these in the microwave. So, what you want to do is you want to remove the plastic. Remove the plastic like this. And I'm going to go ahead and do both of them. If you want to make them in the oven, you preheat your oven to 350 degrees, remove the plastic film, place um, and place the cake in its cup, cake side up on a baking sheet, heat for 14 to 16 minutes. So for us, we're going to uh, you remove the plastic and you it tells you to kind of pinch it like this, I guess to push up from the bottom with your thumbs. Up. There you go, like that. Like there that. You go. Okay, so it's loose in there. So I did that one. And now you do the same thing with this one, like that. Yeah, See, it's, it's loose. Okay, so we're going to put it in the microwave. You do one cake at a time, and you want to heat on high for 50 to 60 seconds. Kevin will heat them for probably 55 seconds, and then we'll be back. Okay, so these are out of the microwave, and we have allowed them to sit for two minutes. And then you want to just flip it over on your plate like this. And that's how it looks. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. I was expecting oozing. I was too. Normally with this kind of cake, you expect it to uh, do some kind of ooey gooey thing. Oh, like that. Did. Yeah. yeah, now that looks really good. The chocolate one looks kind of dry in comparison. Uh, but now Kevin and I will give them a try. Okay, so the chocolate lava cakes. A molten ganache center surrounded by decadently rich chocolate cake. All right, so this is supposed to have a center, so do you mind if I cut it in half? Yes, I do, don't do that. <laughs> um, no artificial flavors or colors, small batch. Um, I don't really see, I mean, maybe a touch of it's like a, little, a liquid. A little bit, yeah. The, yeah it's a softer bit. in the middle, like it's very mushy. We've had other chocolate lava cakes that have had a liquid center. Like yeah, this isn't what I would consider liquid center. So, uh, molten ganache center and rich chocolate cake. It's 390 calories for one cake. It's it's hot, so just be careful. Okay. That's why I took it. Yeah, to I, the yeah. It's it tastes it, the texture is like a just wet cake. Like all the chocolate sauce or whatever it had in there, ganache, uh, mm -hmm. kind of like absorbed into the cake mm -hmm. while it was in the packaging. It's not bad. It's very dark. It is very dark. It. Um, that clean must be off. It's it's dark and moist. Mm -hmm. um, not bad if you like a darker chocolate. It um, when when Kevin brought them to me out of the microwave, he said, "Do those stink to you?" I said, "Yes." He said, "They smell like a, a mug cake." Mm -hmm. They do. That tastes like a mug cake. It, it does. It doesn't have that aftertaste, not quite as much as no. a mug cake, but it does have a little bit of that flavor. It there. does. It reminds you very, very much of a mug cake, mm -hmm. which is not what I would expect in a dessert like this. A pre pre made. Yes, I would expect this to taste better than a mug cake. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. This this one to me, um, I would not buy this one again. <coughs> I just think it tastes. If I wanted that flavor, I would just buy a chocolate mug cake. Mm -hmm. um, these do kind of, uh, did kind of have that smell. Oh, when they, they smell funky. Uh -huh. Both of them did. Oh, yeah, man. they did. That one it would not tempt me to buy again or no. eat any more of. Um, I mean, like I said, if you, if you like a darker chocolate, try it maybe. It does have the, it does have a good texture. I kind of like that. Kind of I don't mind the texture. Cake texture, I like that. It's just that it's, I don't know. It does have a little bit of an aftertaste. It's though. plain, it's not that sweet. No, it's, it's not sweet at all. It's, uh, yeah, it's not what I would go to for a chocolate cake right. at all. Uh, this, I'm very excited about this. Uh, butter toffee sticky cakes. Uh, a moist cake filled with dates and topped with a creamy caramel sauce. 
See, this would typically be, in the UK, sticky choppy pudding, but they can't put that on that here or Americans wouldn't buy it because they don't know what they're missing. This is sticky choppy pudding. It, it, it's very similar. Uh, yes, uh, 490 calories for one. Okay. I got, I'm assuming a peel from a date, because you can see, look. Mm. See, there's like a piece of date. That's good. That's sticky choppy pudding. Yeah, that's that's a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you don't like dates and stuff, don't freak out about it because it really doesn't taste like dates. No, you can't taste the dates. If you've never had Here sticky choppy pudding, it's it's one of my very, very favorite British desserts. Very, very favorite. You need to try these. Mm -hmm. They have... Um, I'm thinking lots of different brands have these. I'm thinking maybe Kroger has their own set. Um, I'm thinking you can get these though and other store brands. You need to give them a try because if you have it, you are really missing out. Mm -hmm. um, it's an over the top sweet. Um, it's very, very moist. Yeah, it has a little bit of a caramely kind of flavor. Yeah, like um, sweet caramel. But yeah. it's not like that burnt sugar caramel. It's no. just a very sweet, sugary mm -hmm. caramel. It's just a very, very over the top sweet. How would cake. you describe the flavor of the cake though? It, it's got, it's not spice cake, but because it doesn't have the spices in it, but um, I don't know. It's not fruit cake either. It's just, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's different. It's just very sweet. It's like the texture of a, a spice cake or a carrot cake. It's like that yeah. texture, but it doesn't taste like that at all. Mm -hmm. But it just tastes like a, a sweet cake. It's sweet. But that's not where your sweetness comes in. Yeah, your sweetness topping. comes in with that topping. Um, now, I made a recipe on the channel for sticky toffee pudding, and it was so, so easy. So, knowing how easy they are to make, I would just pre as soon make my own because it was that easy. But I think this is really, really good. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a really good dessert. If you want to not trouble yourself with making something which I, and most, having to buy most of the time i wouldn't having to buy all those ingredients because <laughs> yeah, you do have to hunt down dates and, and it's just as good in the microwave all you're doing is heating mm -hmm. them up if you do them in the oven all you're doing is heating them up too so you're not like crisping anything up or anything like that no it's, it's honestly a waste of time i think if you heat yeah, up the unless oven you just don't clothes. have a microwave exactly yeah so i will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching